Well, thanks for staying with us. And, and Lynn, it feels like old home week. It does feel like old home week. I'm so glad to see these two guys. This is way too cool. So right next to me is Mr. Bill Bivin. Um, Bill served on the school board with Lynn for a number of years. And, uh, and Dr. Al Moore. Um, Al is now retired veterinarian. Yes. Uh, but, but very much still involved in our community, as is Bill, who is still practicing law. Um, but y'all served on the board together. We did, and they taught me everything on the board. <laughs> so, I don't think so. First of all, it was their fault I got on the board. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yes. we weren't doing as good a job as she wanted us to do. <laughs> well, now, that sounds right. That's that right. sounds right. I was so shy and retiring, I can't imagine that. Mm, <laughs> yes, we understand that. <laughs> they well, did. They They chose me to fill an unexpired term oh. on the board. So I was appointed first, yes, served right. a year, and then had to run for election. Oh. When that opening first came up, the first lady of Humble, Lillian McKay, came to me and said, you know Lynn Fields? She needs that spot. I didn't and, know that. And wow. when, when Lillian wow. corners you, you're cornered. <laughs> <laughs> you do what Lillian says. So, That's right. uh, we went through the process, and uh, and I told Lillian, uh, I told Lillian, we have to go through a process. Of, and we interviewed a number, and of course you were the, uh, we had a criteria, and you were the best, and and we appointed you, and you've done a wonderful job. Oh, thanks. And how many years did y'all serve? I uh, served for 13 years, and he <laughs> served for. 28. Wow. He's the dean. Wow. He's the dean. I was a slow learner. <laughs> He's the dean. They were the voices of reason. Now, Bill was more of a bandy rooster on the board. <laughs> Al was just steady as you go, Al. You always knew that he was going to be the voice of reason, right? That's right. Very That's true. right. He very and true. Bonnie. Yep. Bonnie, Bonnie was always was very... Always Bonnie had the details. Very, yes. yes. Bonnie she, knew it. <laughs> she knew everything. Right. Bonnie right. is a walking encyclopedia oh, yeah. of school knowledge uh, for very, everything. Very right. learned woman. Yes. Very, yes, very. she is. So th think back, guys. So what was maybe one of the either bigger challenges or, or memorable times on the board that, that involved Lynn? You know, her ability to communicate and I guess that's ex an example of that is this program that y'all done for, did you say 12 years now? 12 years. You know, uh, she, very articulate, and she knew her positions, and she uh, did her homework, and when we were discussing something, she knew her position, and she was articulate ab about it. Uh, she would listen to the others, and she was flexible, but yet, uh, she knew her positions, and, and, and we learned real quick <laughs> <laughs> what her positions were. You mean I was stubborn? I, uh, no, no, you were persistent. 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 That's, really. that's a good word. And on that was, uh, I, what I do remember, probably the best from her, well, maybe not the best, there were lots of best, but uh, the Spanish Immersion Program. Oh, she right. pointed, she was the point lady on that program. I was right behind her. I supported her all the way, but she just, I mean, and it took a number of years to get that to come around. It just didn't And I think happen. Lexi was in there, wasn't Lexi? Yes, she was. And, I thought she was. Uh, we finally got it passed, uh, and it it's something that this school district has to be very, very proud oh, of. Oh, yeah. It's still yeah. very, very successful today. High That's demand. Right. Yeah. We can't serve everyone. Well, well and back then, the district's uh, demographics were not what they are now. Mm -hmm. So it was difficult for a lot of the community uh, to understand why would you want a Spanish immersion program? Why would they need to right. speak English only? Why would it be beneficial for the district? And as a board, you know, we were seeing demographic reports from Texas A&M mm -hmm. about, you know, the way Texas was going to be going. And as it has turned out, Texas is predominantly Hispanic now. Yeah. And for kids coming out of school, they should be bilingual. It's important. You know, and, and Spanish should be their second language in Texas particularly because that's the way things are now and you want them to be competitive in the job market. All students, regardless of what their origins are, they all need to be bilingual. Well, again, great program to And this, this brings up the other main thing about Lynn. She talked about students. Students were her focus. Mm -hmm. Students uh, just, you know, everything was looked at from the viewpoint, the focus of what would be best for the student and their educational process.
But right. that's what we're there for, that's really. What we're, yes. That's what a school board exists for. You know, you, you talk about board policy and, you know, that's what their job is, but at the very foundation of everything is how it's going to affect those little faces in the classroom All and what their students. futures are going to be like. Because Absolutely. we're preparing them for the future. We're not just <coughs> warehousing them and babysitting them every day. We're making sure, and, and we've done so many segments on this show about programs that further you know their future goals and further their aspirations and that's what it's about. Lynn was a part of a board that uh, did a lot for the students and we all worked on a district-wide level. You may have gotten elected with some type of agenda in your own mind but I never saw that with Lynn and I but I and we work together for the district. Uh, you may come from a different part of the district, but it was always important for all of us to do what was best for the children in the district. And that's and what you all did, at least from this guy's vantage point. You, know, you worked very, very closely We together. would have our difference of opinion, mm -hmm. but once the vote was taken, we came together and supported the, the decision that was made and, and did not try to undermine it. Mm -hmm. And that was a very important because, you very know, true. we've gone to conferences and talked to, with other boards where it's not that way. No, yeah. it's not. No. Well, not, not universal. And the beauty of the board, you know, when Bill and, and Al were on it and Bonnie and Ann and you know, those who served, you were there because you wanted to be. You didn't have, like Bill said, an ulterior motive. You didn't try to grandstand. Right. You all pulled together as a team. So right. it was not an I or me thing. Mm -hmm. It was the team worked together, and if we disagreed in something, the public never saw it. It was behind closed doors when we did you know, closed sessions. You agreed on something. You know, whether you did personally or not, you pulled together for the good of the district and the good yeah. of the team. And, you know, sometimes you don't see that in school boards. So I think we were very lucky. We were. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a yeah. great board. You all did yeah. amazing work. I'm, I'm sorry to say he's waving me on that we're, we're getting out of, uh, out of time. But want to do, um, Dr. Moore, Mr. Bivens, the same thing. So here's your chance. One word, phrase that in your mind really describes... Energy. Energy. <laughs> No more. He took my word. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Unanimous. It's just no more the year she's waiting really? now. I mean, the older really, I it just, she came on with everything she had to deal with all the problems and was very knowledgeable. No. Yes. She did her homework. Now, boards, as you know, we get a pile of work Amen. At, for that next meeting next month. You had to go through all of that to get through to be able to deal with all of the problems, and she did it. Uh, other board members did it too, but she did it with a zeal, and oh. we all uh, enjoyed working with her very all much. Right. I love did. these guys. <laughs> They're, they're, one, they're each they one of a great kind. Guys. Distinct, and we love that's you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Al, Bill, thanks so much. We okay. really we appreciate, appreciate it. Thank y'all so very much we for could coming be today. Yeah. That is so sweet of y'all. Yeah. I appreciate it. Forever a part it. of her last show. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. Y'all stay with us. We're going to see you at another side of Lynn when, when you come back. We'll be right back. Lynn, I wish I could be there in person to wish you well and thank you for all you've done for the school district. I want to especially thank you for the wonderful years, 16 years, that I've worked with you in the school district on the Board of Trustees, as well as since that time. And it's been an absolute joy working with you because all of that time, your only concern was what was best for the students in the school district. Really appreciate that, and it's been a wonderful time. Also, I'd like to thank you for all of the sharing with the public and also the promoting of the science and engineering fairs in the school district, as well as the Insperity Observatory and all the wonderful things those have brought to the students as well. So thank you, good luck, and uh, wish you well and really appreciate what you've done. <laughs>